let's go ahead and get started. We'll go over all of our hardware here now. I'll have links in the description of where you can buy all this stuff. There will be affiliate links that will help me out a lot if you do purchase from those. But go ahead and purchase from wherever you want. So to start, I did have to, I ordered the wrong parts originally, so I did have to go to Lowe's and get these. I will have a link to what I, I would have used um, instead of having to buy two different pieces. So for these, you're gonna need, I'm gonna use three quarter inch hose for everything in this build. But for these, I have this three quarter inch barb, screw onto an NPT. And then this is gonna be a GHT. This is all three quarter inch. You're gonna need these three quarter inch with a barb and then the three quarter inch NPT. You're gonna need four of those. And then four of this setup, but we really just need the barb and then a GHT. So we'll have a link to where you can buy just the, the one piece here. And then here we have the bulkhead. This is how we're gonna put on the tub itself. This is how we're going to attach it through the tub. And also this could have worked for that as well. Bulkheads have a three quarter inch GHT male or inside is a half inch NPT female. So I just went with a half inch. We're just going to go, we'll just screw that to the inside and then with the three quarter inch barbs on the other side. This is a Venturi injector. This is going to be for the ozone. I don't have that yet, it will be coming. So we're gonna, for this video, we're gonna add that on later, but we'll just remember putting it all in the box that we'll need to have about a five inch spot to where we're gonna set this inside that hose line. We'll just cut it later and put it on. And that's what we're gonna use these for. We're gonna screw on here. So you always just wanna kinda screw everything on, just dry fit everything, make sure everything's screwing on properly. And you're gonna need some hose clamps. I'm using this strainer. As soon as the water comes out of the tub, it's gonna go into this strainer. This is just gonna catch any little pieces of dirt, any rocks, um, grass clippings, anything big is gonna get stuck in here. Just unscrews and we can just clean it out. And for that, we're gonna to go to our main filter. This is a GE warehouse filter. Just uses these cartridges here. This does not come with filter, just to be aware. I will have a link to the filters I'm using. This is a 50 micron filter. And then it comes with the hardware to mount it to my box. And this is just active aqua, three quarter inch black tubing, um, hydroponic tubing, it's also known as. This will be our pump that we're using. And it does come with the three quarter inch uh, hardware already, which is nice. And this pump can be submersible or inline. I'm gonna be using it inline. So what to do is pop this cover off. We can just throw this stuff away. We're not gonna use it. This is if you were to um, use it as a submersible, which we're not gonna. Comes with the little O-rings. So these are three quarter inch barbs. We're just gonna screw them on here. And they only need to be hand tight. It's gonna be our pump. Remember, it's gonna flow in here and out here. So just keep that in mind when we're putting it together. And here we have some plumber's tape. We're just gonna put this on all the threaded areas. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put everything together. Everything that's screwed, I'm gonna to put together first. And then later we'll attach the hoses. It's gonna be the easiest way. So let's just get started. So with the plumber's tape, we'll just set it on the threads. Just kind of gently wrap it around. Just want to go maybe once or twice around. You don't need a lot. And once you have it, just go ahead and pull it. Make sure it's nice and evened out. And screw these right in here. So now we have all the NPT threads with the plumber's tape. It's only going to be used on those NPT. Anything with the GHT is going to have a little rubber washer in there that's going to seal it up. So we're not going to use plumber's tape on those. So that's going to be the Venturi valve. And then also on the water chiller itself is going to be these other two. And I realized we're going to have to wait on this part until after we put this through the tub and then we'll screw those on after because this is going to have to be taken apart, 
And these rubber washers will come apart. We're gonna put this through the tub and then the rubber grommet will go on this side and then it'll screw on. And then the tub will be sandwiched there in the middle. And then we'll come back, we'll screw these on after we get that done. Now let's go over to the tub and we're gonna drill holes in the tub and then in my box. Cold plunge tub and our chiller box here. Let's get to it. We're gonna first by drill the holes in the cold plunge. Using just this one and a quarter inch wood drill bit. It would be best if you had a one inch. The one and a quarter will work as well. We go as far down as we can before it gets to this ridge. And we're just gonna go nice and slow. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the top one just below this top ridge. So right here. Now we'll go ahead and put our bulkhead in. Remember one washer on the inside and one on the outside. Now we're gonna go ahead and thread these in. So we got those on. Now we're gonna line it up with the box and we're gonna drill through the box here. We're gonna go ahead and make a mark on each side of the pipe here and we'll cut the hole out. We're just gonna use the same drill bit and go ahead and drill these holes. If you want to make one of these boxes, I'll have it linked in the description here. I have a video on how I built that. So we're going to start with the pipe coming out of the tub here. So the first thing we're going to hook up is the strainer. So we'll go ahead and measure how much pipe we need. We'll get seven inches of pipe. Lots of different ways you can cut this. I'm just using a cleaver here. I find this works the best if you have a really sharp knife. Just come out here with a cutting board and just chop it. Makes a nice clean cut. Put a clamp on there. Easier to pull it away to hook it up here. So once you have it as far on as you can get it, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down this hose clamp. There we go, and we'll put it back through. Go ahead and put our strainer on. Just like that, we get it hooked up. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the camera to a time lapse now while I get everything else hooked up. And you can watch, let's get it. So I cut another little piece of tube. This is gonna go from the strainer to the pump. And after you get the pump hooked up, you're gonna to wanna to figure out where on the wall you wanna put your filter. I put it right there on the side. And I made a mistake in the beginning of the video here. You actually want to wait to thread those on until after you have the bracket on because it will it'll go in and then you thread it through that little hole in the bracket. So I get that filter all hooked up. And I got to run the line to the chiller and then from the chiller into the tub. A little pro tip here, um, dip your hose in some boiling water or really hot water. It'll make it a lot easier to fit onto the barbs. Also, I realized that the threads on the chiller are actually an NPT male instead of the GHT. So I did just use the NPT female three quarter inch and screwed it on there, put with some plumber's tape. And if you are enjoying the video so far, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Maybe let me know in the comments what you liked about the video. Here I am drilling a hole in the side. We're gonna plug it in. We got it all set up, filling up the cold plunge right now. We're gonna check for leaks. It should be good. Once I get it filled up, I'll go ahead and turn everything on. Let's get you a close up here. So yeah, the water comes out, goes through the screen, into the pump, through our filter. Make sure when you're putting the filter in, that you read what direction it goes in and what way it goes out. Make sure you have it right. And this filter, I like it because it has that shut off there. You can just turn it and then you can change the filter without any water leaking out. I have everything plugged into smart plugs there. That way I can adjust what time of day I want everything turned on. And then everything is plugged into a GFCI outlet. Um, that way if it gets any sort of a short, it'll just shut the power off. So we've got it filled up. We're gonna go ahead and start it up and check for leaks. Hopefully we're good. Don't see any leaks so far anywhere. So far it all looks good. This is the Water coming out, it's a good flow rate. 400 gallon per minute pump. I haven't turned the chiller on yet. Let's go ahead and do that. The chiller goes all the way down to 32 degrees. I'm not gonna go that cold yet. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put it to 40 and see 
if it gets down to that overnight. Just kicked on. Right now the water's at 52 degrees is what it says. It's just straight out of my well. It's been a week now, it's been running, everything's working good. Water temp, I've got it down as low as 35 degrees. I haven't set it any lower than that, but I'm sure it would get lower. If I did set it, it gets down to 35 when I set it, no problem. So as you can tell, it's very quiet, even with the lid open, with the pump running and the chiller running right now. Super quiet, you can barely even hear it staying in here. I did have a, end up with a couple of leaks after that first night. Right here around the bulkhead, it was leaking just barely, maybe one drip every couple of minutes. Um, I ended up draining the tank down a little bit. Just put some Flex Seal, um, kind of adhesive around there. It's waterproof and it sealed it up just perfect. I also ended up with a very slight leak right around this hose where it connected. Just the same kind of a drip every few minutes. All I used was some Flex Seal spray. Um, it just comes out of a can. Just sprayed it around that hose and it sealed it up just fine, no issues now. Like I said, it's been a week and they haven't leaked again. Overall, I'm super happy with the build. I still have to hook up the ozone. I'll do that in another video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you have any questions about the build or what I used in the video, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I try to reply to everyone. See you tomorrow for my daily plunges.